How Meditation Dramatically Helps Insomnia, Sleep Problems Meditators are the world's deepest sleepers, hands down. Backed by thousands of studies, here's why meditation conquers sleep problems, dominates sleep disorders, while reversing even the worst cases of insomnia. The Sleep Molecule, How Meditation Boosts Melatonin since the beginning of time, Earth's natural cycles of light and dark have dictated man's biological clock. In recent decades, however, as modern humans have collectively worked toward becoming a 24-hour-a-day, hyper-productive society, our nights have become ever shorter and shorter. This unbalancing act, compounded by our newfound love of morning to night screen time, is taking a heavy biological toll on us all especially our natural sleep patterns. With excessive light as the number one enemy of melatonin, the fact that we are shutting down our body's production of this critical sleep molecule may well be the most important casualty of this epidemic. A so-called chemical superhero, melatonin boosts mood, slows cancer, strengthens immunity, increases longevity, all while helping to prevent over 100 different diseases. Meditation cools insomnia brain waves, boosts sleep brain waves. If you often find yourself staring at your alarm clock when you should be staring at your eyelids, then you likely have a beta brain wave excess. Best known as the dominant mental state when we are anxious, stressed, and or depressed, beta brain waves kick up more and more dust as our sleepless night wears on. This imbalance will only continue sabotaging our precious shut eye, night after night, unless we find a solution. Luckily, there is. Rather than nasty insomnia causing beta waves, studies show that experienced meditators exhibit more of the super beneficial alpha, theta, and delta brain waves. These calm and highly pleasurable waves directly cancel out anxious up all night thought patterns. The result? Great sleep tonight with loads of energy tomorrow. How Meditation Activates the Sleep Gateway of the Brain Sleep Quality vs. Sleep Quantity We've all been there before. Hours after getting into bed, bloodshot eyes still staring at the ceiling. With work looming only three hours away, here's to hoping the Sandman finally grants our wish. Sleeplessness is not just a minor inconvenience. With our productivity, mood, energy, and health taking a roundhouse kick to the clavicle, chronic insomnia can really crimp our potential. I got my 8 hours last night, yet today I feel like a zombie. What gives? It's not about being in bed for X hours. What matters most is sleep depth, quality over quantity, not everybody gets what they need. It is the deeper REM level of sleep where we detoxify blood, repair organs, heal wounds, renew cells, build muscle tissue, and so forth. We need about 2 hours at this stage every night. Wait a minute, I only need 2 hours of sleep each night. That's easy. That's 2 hours of deep REM sleep, buster. Since we spend about 20% of our night in REM, we actually need much more sleep to satisfy the requirement. Think 8 to 10 hours. And that's assuming our doorway to slumber and is not blocked by a sleep is for the weak t shirt wearing bouncer. With about 1 in 3 adults experiencing insomnia at any given time, hitting that measly 2 hour REM health and happiness window is easier said than done. Meditation trains the sleeping brain. Thankfully, meditation owns the Sandman. In 2014, a team of Harvard and Stanford University researchers showed that meditation, powered by the magic of neuroplasticity, builds up a big and strong sleep-centered bonds. In other words, meditation literally molds the brain into a naturally deep sleeping machine. Regardless of how ravaged your road to slumber and maybe, no matter how many potholes your insomnia may have dug over the years, meditation's lullaby asphalt will keep your ride silky smooth. If you want deep sleep every night of the week, then close your eyes to meditation. How Meditation Quiets the Insomniac Mind The Worry What Conscious Mind We have all crawled under the covers with an unruly mind, 
cranking out one thought after another, doing its best to torpedo our much needed shut eye. Whether it's replaying a conversation that we had, worrying about our next car payment, having an imaginary argument, making a to-do list, stressing over that big work deadline, or whatever else the busybody mind thinks over the course of its estimated 70,000 plus thoughts per day, it's our tip of the iceberg conscious mind that generates this kind of insomniac type of thinking. But when it comes to deep, restorative sleep, it's all about what's under the surface dot known as the subconscious and unconscious, it's these deep mind layers that hold the vast majority of our potential. The deep mind and deep sleep. While our rush rush rush, pull 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 conscious mind chatters away above the surface, our deep mind is always below, seeing, hearing, feeling, and taking it all in. Instead of jumping from thought to thought to thought, our subconscious mind and unconscious mind think slowly, quietly, and deeply. So meditation works by quieting down our one-dimensional conscious mind and bringing our powerful multi-dimensional deep mind to the surface. By putting to bed the whirlwind that is the overthinking conscious mind, meditation helps our worrywart brain realize that the day is over, while tomorrow is not yet upon us. With a quiet mind firmly anchored in the present moment, we can fall asleep as soon as our head hits the pillow. Stressful thoughts, shallow sleep, the mind's impact on sleep quality. Falling asleep isn't difficult for me, my problem is that, after getting in a full 8 hours, I often feel like I hadn't slept at all. What gives? Sometimes, even though we are technically asleep, our conscious mind will continue its rampage locking us into a shallow, unrestorative, low-quality stage of shut-eye. Body and mind are one. It's not just a Bruce Lee mantra. Our thoughts are actually powerful things that impact us on a physical level, including tensing up our muscles, increasing our heart rate, shortening our breath, and so forth. This happens all day and all night, even while we sleep. Do you know anyone, maybe you? who grinds their teeth while they sleep. Perfect illustration. Master your mind, sleep like a log. Instead of reacting to our thoughts, or resisting our thoughts, or fighting our thoughts, or chasing after our thoughts, which all cause a stress response within the body, meditation teaches us to simply let each thought go. In this way, all thoughts become equally important and equally unimportant, this taking a step back from the mind is part of meditation's beauty, and fundamentally transforms how thoughts impact us on a physical level. When we become immune to stressful thinking, entering the deepest, most restorative levels of sleep, night after night, comes as natural as breathing. And so, instead of waking up in the morning feeling like a zombie, we wake up feeling like a million bucks, ready to hit the day.